I was assigned to, to this room. Chief Martin McFall started at the Marysville Fire Department back in 1988 as a volunteer. 31 years later, not much has changed at Station House 61. It's exactly the same, minus uh, we had to add lockers. What has changed is Marysville itself. The population's grown five-fold over the past 25 years, and the fire department has not kept up. The number of calls continues to rise, with the department answering more than 14,000 last year alone, with fewer firefighters than it had 11 years ago. Three firehouses are not earthquake proof, and aging engines and aid cars like this one have more than 300,000 miles on them. This is engine 61. This is the unit that I drive on a daily basis. Firefighters like Ryan Suavity don't feel protected when they're risking their lives to protect us. It's an added stress that at any point, um, a fa failing piece of apparatus or not, not being in the right place because of lack of staffing could put us at risk, but you know, even more so the, the people that we're here to serve, it could put them at risk. So Chief McFalls is proposing a property tax increase that would add 130 to $250 a year to a $300,000 home, depending on where you live. But to him, this isn't just about updating equipment and adding personnel. I'm not just staking my reputation on it. I'm staking my life on it. The lifelong Marysville resident says it's about much more. And my family's here. My friends are here. Um, my neighbors are here. My grandchildren are here. It means the world to me. In Marysville, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.